you, the congregation, and our viewers, and those people who follow us uh, across the diaspora. My name is Dr. David Jeroge Evans. Uh, I, I, I stand this morning as a bishop of Christian Life Church and welcome each one of you in Jesus' name. Praise be to God. I promised uh, last Sunday that we shall talk about the remedy for anxiety because you all remember that uh, we, we, have been think, we have been speaking about positive thinking, positive thinking. And today I want to major on uh, Philippians chapter number four and verse number eight and verse number nine. Uh, this is a teaching church. Like you have known, uh, the year 2020 was uh, a year of so many hardships. And I, I want to promise you that there are no more such hard, hardships this year. Praise be to God. And that God has promised that one purpose of God is to preach the gospel in a manner that uh, the gospel would be a witness, a testimony to, to the world about Jesus Christ, a testimony to the world about Jesus Christ. So to mean that the gospel will be a testimony that tells not everybody will believe in Jesus. Not everybody. So you'll find that uh, there are people who will not believe in Jesus because people have their own contradictions, but there are signs that will tell that this time is a time of uh, the dispensation that was spoken by Jesus Christ about end time. Praise be to God. Amen. On Sunday we spoke about the 13 kinds of problems that are caused by anxiety. And today I want us to look at four words used for prayer that show exactly how prayer is the answer to anxiety and worry. From Philippians chapter number four, before we come to verse number eight, which is the topic of today, I want us to look at this, what the Bible says in verse number six, in verse number seven. It says, do not be anxious about anything, anything. Do not be anxious about anything. From the context, anything is everything. But in everything, by four four words in everything by prayer that's one word and by petition with thanksgiving present your request to God these four words are by prayer by petition by thanksgiving and by requests that is the only way now your prayer can be answered and that there will be no worry and anxiety. The word prayer from the Greek word prosuch or proseuche, if you can pronounce that, refers to the special times of prayer that we share in periods of devotion, like we are doing in the morning and worship. And we are to have set times for prayer, times that we especially set aside for devotion and worship. Set times for prayer, set times, especially for worship, prayer and worship, that is a very important time for us and a very important uh, aspect for each one of us. Praise be to God. Because this is the word of God it says by prayer and petition with thanksgiving and requests. Hallelujah. 
And the word petition from the Greek word deisis, deisis, or disease, deisis, D -O -E -S -I -S, refer to the prayer that focus upon special needs. Okay? Petition is a prayer that focuses on special needs where we feel a deep, intense need. A deep, intense need. And therefore we go before God and petition Him because we have a need, an intense need that is pour out our soul to God. Kujimua gambele za mungu. And that need is what we call great need that confronts us. You take the need by petition to God. Amen. Amen. And the only possible help that you know that you can be delivered from that need is God. That is when you come for petition. Many people have asked me, what is the difference between prayer, petition, thanksgiving, and requests? This is the day to tell you now the difference and the meaning. Praise be to God. Amen. And that, therefore, we come and lay our need before him as a child. We lay our need before God as a child, crying, that's a time of crying, pleading and begging for his help. You don't come bubbling. You come crying to the point of need. You must say what you need. Pleading, begging for his help, begging for his comfort, begging for his deliverance and peace. That is what we call petition. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't come speaking of other things. You must be so specific. Then, word number three is thanksgiving. Eucharistia, the Greek says Eucharistia, means that we thank and praise God for all he is and for all that he has done for us. Like we were led this morning for Eucharistia, thanking God and praising him for all he is and what he has done. That is what we call thanksgiving. And in such a time, you don't accuse anyone. Amen? Amen? You just give thanks to him for who he is. Like we are reading from Psalms, Mungu, Bingu Nainchi, Hata Misingi, Ayainchi, Akaiweka Kwa Maji, Hata, hata bingu, akaiweka kama pazia. You are thanking him for who he is. That is not a time of attacking Satan or any other person. That is a time of thanksgiving. And we must be disciplined according to the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, then we are told to do some requests to God. In the same verse number 6, Philippians 4 verse 6, requests from the Greek word itemata, itemata. Like the English would ask you what is the matter, itemata, means specific and definite requests. You don't go to God using too many words to speak very little about nothing. You are before the seat of throne. Hallelujah. So, you bring specific and definite requests. So, our praying is not to be general. When we are doing requests, you don't generalize the prayer, but specific. Hallelujah. We are to lay before God exactly what is needed, and we are not to fear that we are being too detailed with God or bothering God. 
It is a time of specifics. Hallelujah. Amen. When you go to God specifically for what you want, He is not of your age mate. He is at the seat of throne. Don't bumble. Be specific. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And neither are we to hold back asking because we fear. Because he will not answer something so specific. God will not answer something so specific. So, too often, believers fear of receiving the answer. So, you must be specific. Not so specific. Like you are trying to re-emphasize or exaggerate. Just be specific. Ni nini unataka kwa Mungu? Mwambie. Mwambie Yesu. Kwa sababu hapo si mahali utakuja uwekelee mambo zingine kujaribu hata kurebesha like when you hear people say Jesus and God it's not about those jokes of people who call Jesus Jesus and God us. You must be specific like a disciplined person. Hallelujah. Amen. Too often believers, they fear not receiving the answer to a specific request. Fear that it will show how weak they are, spiritual, they are spiritually if, they, if the request is not granted. So, I want you to note the scripture says in everything. Pray like this. Use all the four ways of praying and use them in praying for everything. And this means two things. The four words, use them to pray in everything before God. What we are saying here is that we are to walk in God. If we are to pray to God, we are to walk in God, that means we are to live, we are to move, and have our being in Him. You don't just come from the bush anywhere and pray to this God. We are to walk, walking in God. That means living in, moving in, and having our being in Him. And we do this by prayer. Lazima tuwe ndani ya mungu. Tutembe na mungu. Tuishi ndani yake. Ndiyo tunapoomba. Tunauhusiano ambao atasikia. China la boana na litukusu. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We live and move in God through prayer. We live and move in God through prayer. Tunaishi na kutembea pamoja na Mungu kupitia kwa maombi. Bwana Yesu na asifiwe sana. So we pray in everything. This means that all day long as we walk and move about our daily affairs. Wakati tunapotembea na kufanya mambo zetu za kila siku, we pray in times that are specifically set aside for devotion and worship. Like, kuanzia saa tatu wapa, hadi saine na nusu, is a time of devotion to pray to God. Set that time. Be in the church. Wake up early. Do your daily course early. And being together here for devotion. Praise be to God. Amen. We petition, to petition is like struggle in prayer when facing times of deep and intense need. Struggling in prayer when you are facing uh, times of deep, intense need. Ni kama petition ni kama wakati unangengana katika maombi kwa sababu ya maombi jinsi ya livyo ingia katika kilindini cha moyo wako na unataka jambo hilo litendeke china la bwana na lisifiwe 
We offer thanksgiving and praise all day long as we walk and move about. Na shukurani ni wakati when we were walking about mambo zetu zote tunamshukuru Bwana. Kama vile tuliimbiwa hapa, mshukuruni Bwana kwa sababu yeye ni mwema. Kwa maana fadhili zake ni za milele. And we offer our petitions petitions we said our our requests they are specific requests to god we ask him to do definite things as we walk throughout the day asking god to do definite things as we walk throughout the day what is the definite thing that you want from god ni jambo gani like I have been praying God to give me for quite a long a long time a copy of. I find myself with a, a small one and overloaded and like for the last two days I had not done anything because the, co the, the printer was not doing very well but yesterday I got a new copy of. Amen. Amen. It's in the office. Quite a large thing, a big thing. It's here. It's ours. Amen. 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 A brand new thing because God is able. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, there is a scripture that encourages me. Second Timothy. Post for us, Second Timothy 2 and verse number 19. Second Timothy 2 and verse number 19. Wabendo. Hallelujah. 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 This is what the Bible says in 2 Timothy 2 and verse number 19. And here we read, Nevertheless, it is important to read the other verses from verse 1. God's solid foundation stands firm. Somebody say amen. amen. And sealed with this inscription, the solid foundation of God. It's never shaken by people. It is sealed with this inscription, the Lord knows those who are his. Amen. The Lord knows. It is not Mr. So-and-so who will take you to heaven. No. It is not Bishop So-and-so to say those who will go to heaven. Mm -mm. The Bible says the Lord knows those who are his. Amen. Amen. And everyone who confesses the name of the Lord must turn away from wickedness. Amen. There are wicked people who want to purport that they can tell when you the Bible says the Lord knows those who are his. Amen. And I don't care what they will say about me. I really don't. I continue doing what God called me to do. Amen. Like I have said many years, one man with God is a majority. Amen. Do not care about what people say about you. They, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 5, verse 10 to 12, they will say all manner of evil things about you. This is in the Bible. They will say all manner of evil things about you. But the Lord knows those who are his. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. So today I want us to look at uh, verse number 8, Philippians 4 and verse number 8. Philippians 4 verse number 8 says, or Philippians and after verse 1, 2, 3, 4 to 7, now Paul says finally, after you have exhausted the charge, do not worry. The remedy is praying. And praying in three instructions about everything with the requests and with thanksgiving. And the promise is in verse 9. Peace. That peace that transcends all understanding. And number two about peace 
is peace that guards our hearts and minds. Praise be to God. Amen. So now here in verse number 8, verse number 8, we have six objects that are given us as a command if you want peace. This is what the Bible says. Hallelujah, verse number 8. Finally, you know when we talk about finally, by the word finally, he was about to conclude the section and bringing in six items mentioned as objects of a wholesome thought of life. And each one is introduced with this word, whatever. Hallelujah. Amen. In the Greek, whatever is plural, which suggests that several things could be in included under each heading. So we have whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right. This is a counseling book. Whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable. I am picking from the Greek context and I want to explain to you so that you can be able to understand. Praise be to God. Amen. God tells us what we are to think about. Because he says, finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or if anything is praiseworthy, first of all, think about such things. Tupigieni Yesu Makovi, Mazuri. Sasa, tunaelekezwa kwa kupata amani. Ukifanya mambo hayo sita, sasa ndiyo utaanza kuwa katika barabara ya amani. Verse number nine, it says, Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put into practice put it into practice and the God of peace will give you what? Will give you what? Will give you rest. Hallelujah. Amen. And the God of peace will be with you. And when we are when you are with him, you have some rest. But you cannot have peace and God of peace cannot be with you if what you have learned or what you have received or what you have heard or what you have seen has not been put into practice. We have some work to do. Kama mambo yale yote tumeasikia tumefundishwa na tumeaona hatuwezi kuyashikilia na kuyatenda basi Mungu wa amani hatakuwa pamoja nasi Mungu atusaidie sana Amen Ebu turudi kwa devotion uone kitu kidogo mstari moja ambao pastor alikuwa anatuongoza kwa devotion ili uone Kuti kuna maana gani. In the book of John 15 verse number 8. 15 and verse number 8. Inasema hivi. Hivyo hutukuzwa baba yangu. Kwa vile mzaavyo sana. Nani mtakuwa wanafunzi wangu. This is what the Bible says. This is my father's glory. That you bear 
much fruit. When you bear much fruit, showing yourself to be my disciples. Amen. When you don't bear much fruit, yes. you are just telling the people, you are not disciples. Napenda kiswahili zaidi nasema, hivyo kutukuzwa baba yangu kwa vile mzaavyo sana. Munapoza sana, bibi le nasema, mtakuwa wanafunzi wangu. Kwa hivyo, musipoza. Mnaambia watu, nyingi si wanafunzi wa Yesu. Nyingi ni wakanisa la Christian life. Lakini si wa Yesu. Mungu atusaidie sana. Amen. Kwa hivyo ni jikumu lako na langu kuona ya kwamba mahali niko ni nazaa. Kumzalia baba matunda. Amen. Amen. Ili ninapoza kuna watu wanao nitazama, wanitaza, wanitaza mapo, wanaona mimi ni mwanafunzi na wanataka kuungana na mimi. Jina la Bwana anatukuzwa. Amen. So today we are told the church is to think and practice positive thinking. Think and practice positive thinking. Ukitaka haya we must fix our minds on those things that are true. On those things that are noble. Fix our minds on those things that are right. On those things that are pure, lovely, and unbearable. And the Bible is explicit in verse number 9 that if you do these things, the God of peace will be with you. Amen. And every one of us would want to have the God of peace, isn't it? Yes. But how do you arrive to having the God of peace? It means there's another God in small g that will never give you peace. There are things you do that the God of peace will be with you. And the things you not do, then you'll be captured by another God, a God that is not of any peace. So the consequences of fixing our minds on the unholy things of the world is that the joy, the nearness, the peace of God are lost and our hearts are no longer guarded. You can lose the peace of God. You can make your hearts not be guarded when you do not adhere to the holy things of God. May God help us. Amen. Now, from the Greek context, the Bible says whatever is true, Ale the, ale the. Real, whatever is real and genuine. Think about these things. Many things in the world are not real, are not genuine. They seem to be true, they are not true. Kama sasa ulimwengu unapanga, the new world order. In the name of the new world order, it is persecution wanapanga to the Christians kwa sababu watalete dawa ya immunization ambayo itakuwa kama ni chip unawekewa ili uruhusiwe kununua na kuuza. Ndiyo uwekewe kama ngombe Popote utakapokuwa wanakuona wakiwa kwao ili waanze sasa kukutawala that is what is coming in the world order and it's only people who know and who are faith in God 
that will overcome. This is why God was bringing a pandemic so that it can be now an experience kama kichungi cha watu wale wanaamini. Na unaona hata kanisa 2020 ilikuwa ya kuwatupa nje watu wa mchezo na kiberembere. That was the meaning. Watu hawakuwa na imani ya kutosha walitoka kanisani. Hawakumwamini Mungu. Lakini mambo bado inakuja ya kutingiza imani zetu na kitu moja kitakachokuja ni dawa. Kwa sababu ya coronavirus kuna dawa itakuja na itakuwa ya bure. Mungu atusaidie sana. Amen. Nataka kuanzia Jumapili ijayo nifundishe juu ya imani. Kwa sababu wengi watapoteza imani. Mungu atusaidie sana. Amen. Sasa mtumishi wa Mungu anasema katika maisha haya tunakaa think and practice positive thinking. Amen. 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 Inasema whatever is true whatever is real and genuine because there will be cosmetics that are not real and genuine kutakuwa na ushirika that is not real and genuine katika maisha unaona ndugu who is not real and genuine anataka kukutumia tu ana akili nyingi kuliko wewe za kibinadamu na shetani anakuja anakutumia anaenda Mungu atusaidie sana Amen. Kanisa tuamuke kwa ajili ya wale watakaokuja watutumie alafu waende Hallelujah Amen Many things in the world they seem to be true but they are not They are false and deceptive an illusion and a counterfeit so we need to wake up tunahitaji kuwa area of deception illusionment deception mambo yale hayatakuwa real usio real urafiki wa waya waya kombo kombo ngulai ngulai mambo yasiyo real i always say 75% of what people call love if it is not from the heart it is flattery ninakupenda lakini itajulikana kwa matendo sio kwa maneno jina la bwana analitukuze amen The world seems to offer peace but what they offer is a deception a counterfeit peace or we call it only escapism so we are to keep our minds upon things that are true and we are to live lives that are true to both men and god when our thoughts and lives are centered upon true things peace comes to the human heart only when our thoughts and minds are centered to the true things that is when peace will come into our hearts hallelujah amen nataka unisikize like you never had me there before i want to teach you things to help you kwa nini watu wanagombana gombana kwa maneno yale wanasikia that are not true kuhusu wewe kuhusu mimi na kama vile ninawapa mfano mara nyingi socrates socrates mtu yule alikuwa amesoma sana akaambiwa na rafiki yake socrates socrates Have you heard something about your friend? He said I have not heard. And which friend? You have not heard. 
he told, he told his friend, before you tell me anything about my friend, let us do a litmus test. Test number one. Is what you're going to tell me true? Is it of benefit to you? Is it of any use to me? He said, absolutely no. Then he was told, you are a gossiper and you are an agent of the devil. Because you want to tell me things about my friend that you neither know whether it is true or of any use or benefit. So God is canceling us this morning. Whatever is true, think about it. Before you open your mouth to say something about someone, get to know whether it is true. Hallelujah. Amen. Whatever is noble. Noble is from the Greek word semna. Semna. Noble. Whatever is honorable and worthy. We are called to think about honorable things and worthy things. Look at the opposite of honorable and, and, and worthy. Things that are not honorable and unworthy. You would stage yourself and set yourself better. Whatever is revered, highly respected, and noble. There's a man called Barclays who says, the word really describes that which has the dignity and holiness upon it. Whatever is noble, something that has dignity, something that has worthiness in it, just think about such things. Hallelujah. Mambo yale ya muhimu ya kufikiria. Unajua watu wanapenda TV sana. There are things in this world which are flippant and cheap. Things that are attractive only to the light-minded. Attractive to the light-minded. Unashida kwa TV, ukiambiwa mashida ya watu, mashida ya watu, mashida ya watu, mashida ya dunia hii, dunia hile ingine. Now what for? When you have the Bible to read the good news of the kingdom of God. Unasoma gazeti kila siku sijui natoka pesa ngapi? Uambiwe mashida ya Kenya, ya ODM, ya Jubiri, ya nini? Unafungulia moyo wako mashida za watu na hujatatua shida zako. That is the way of the devil. To capture you ili wewe uwe mtumwa usifikirie vizuri. Mungu atusaidie sana. Amen. Nilienda na kuru Ijumaa na tukiwa safarini Njoroge kuna kitu alituambia kama wakili. Anatuambia katika affidavit mtu huandikiwa anaandika I so and so an adult of of what? Sound mind. Because people lack sound mind. Ndiyo judge hakimu anapo kusikiza kwanza anajua uko na sound mind. Shida nyingi za watu wengi ni kukosa sound mind. Tabia nyingi mnaona mtu anakaa na ondoka kwa sababu ameokoka lakini kichwa bado. Na hiyo ndiyo inionyesha ya kwamba we shall interview you na tujua ulitoka wapi kabla utuungane na wewe kwa sababu pengine ni kuokoka tu lakini kichwa hakijafanywa kazi. Na uko wewe muone kuna ule ule kwa udo moto wako kwa kwa moto wako tulitimua. Kuokoka umeokoka au kuogosa unaogosa nyimbo kuruka unaweza kuruka kuomba unaweza kuomba lakini una kasoro kwa kichwa. Kanisa liangalie sasa kichwa vizuri sana. Na kichwa kinaambiwa fikiria mambo yale yaliyo ya muhimu. Amen. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Jambo la tatu naambiwa whatever is right. Imagine whatever is right. Diakia. The Greek says diakia D I A K I A. Diakia. Whatever is right, whatever is righteous behavior. It has to do with right behavior towards man and God. Think about these things. What is right? 
the right behavior towards man and God. Think about these things. Hallelujah. Amen. Meaning that the believer is to keep his thoughts upon his duty towards man and God. Keep your thoughts as a duty towards man and God to do what is right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Man is to be responsible, a responsible being while on earth. He is responsible for the earth and for the fellowship of human beings. Deal with whatever is right. When you're dealing with me, when you're dealing with the other person, when you're dealing with God, the interpersonal relationships, let's deal with the right things. There are so many people who cannot tell you the right things, but there comes wrong. They are the broadcasters of wrong things. What is wrong with those people? The mind. Ameokoka lakini, anakasoro, katika kwa akili. Mambo yale mabaya atasikia, diyo ataweka simu, pesa, apigia wapi. Eni moiguete, eni moiguete, todo mutueti moe, well, the Bible says that we think about the right things. Someone is very busy with the wrong things and to broadcast all the wrong things about you and about me and about where. Oh, Mungu Then, point number four. Jesus is telling us what to think about, whatever is pure. Pure. From the Greek word hagna, ha, H A N A, H A G N A, hagna, whatever is pure, morally clean, whatever is spotless, whatever is sinless, whatever is chaste and undefiled. Sijui maneno haya nitayatumiaje kwa Kiswahili, lakini nitasoma Biblia ya Kiswahili. Jina la Bwana analichukuzu. Amen. Wa Filipi ine na msaru wako wa nani? Hallelujah. Mambo yale tunaambiwa tuyatende. Wa Filipi ine na msaru. Hatimaye ndugu zangu. Mambo yote ya liyo ya kweli. Hatimaye. Baada ya aya ya kwanza hadi ya saba. Wa Filipi ine. Kwa aya yake ya kwanza. Ebu tulete ya kwanza. Ebu tulete verse number one. Ebu tuona ni nini ilikuwe kwa kwa kanisa hili. Wa Filipi hili na mstari wako kwanza. Kwa hiyo ndugu zangu. Ninao wapenda na ambao. Nina waonea shauku. Ndugu zangu nini mulio furaha yangu na taji yangu. Hivi ndivyo iwapasavyo kusimama imara katika bwana inatufaa kusimama imara katika bwana nani ninyi wapenzi wangu simameni imara katika bwana wakatoliki walikuwa naimba simama simama imara jininde Neno lake bwana imara Kesha kila siku uombe utasimama verse number 2 Haleluya Uone kwa sababu ya verse 8 ni nini ilikuwa Na wasii Judea Na wasii Judea na nina wasii Sintike Judea Yudia alikuwa nani? Yudia. Yudia, jina Yudia kwa sababu ni Lydia. Huyu mama Lydia. Yudia inamaanisha prosperous journey. Mama ambaye katika njia yake alikuwa mtu wa kuwa na mali nyingi. Alikuwa mwanamke kule Philippi, today Europe. 
ambaye alikuwa na uzia matajiri nguo zao na mwenzake sintike a pleasant acquaintance alikuwa mrembo wa kupendeka umuonapo kwa macho unaona ni mzuri hata wa kukaa naye katika kanisa lakini hao wawili huyu yudia a prosperous journey in her journey she was prosperous na sintike mrembo hawakuwa na nia moja katika bwana walikuwa wanagombania paulo siku moja yudia alitume, alienda 700 miles kumuona paulo kutoka filipi hadi rome kumuona paulo akiwa gerezani na wakaona ana upendo mwingi sana kwa Paulo. Na huyu mwanamke mwingine wakaanza kuzozania uhusiano wao na mchungaji mkuu. Verse number three. Wameambiwa wawe na nia moja. Kanisa linaweza kuwa na watu wawili wa maana. A prosperous journey and an attractive a pleasant acquaintance lakini hawasikizani the first in the line of administration in the church lakini hawasikizani e bwana naam na kusii wewe pia mwanzangu mwaminifu uwasaidie hawa wanawake kwa sababu walijitabiza katika kazi ya injili pamoja nami bega kwa bega wakiwa pamoja na Clement na watenda kazi wenzangu ambao majina yao yameandikwa katika kitabu cha uzima wakaambiwa saidieni wanawake hao wawili ambao ni shupavu ni viongozi lakini hawana nia moja walikuwa na shida ya kufikiriana Ndipoza tunakuja katika verse number 8. Jina la Bwana analitukuzwe. Amen. Kwa hivyo in verse number 8, hebu turudi pale inasema hatimaye ndugu zangu mambo yote yaliyo ya kweli kwa sababu kulikuwa na fununu juu ya Yudia na Paulo. Wewe una fununu gani? Mungu atusaidie sana. Una fununu gani kuhusu mchungaji? Na sijui mke gani ama mwanamke gani ama ndugu fulani na, mwana, na, na dada fulani. Nyakati zile za zamani zile hata hiyo hata hiyo maneno yalikuwepo. Wanaambiwa mambo yaliyo ya kweli yote yaliyo na sifa njema yote yaliyo ya haki yote yaliyo safi yote ya kupendeza yote yenye staha staha is admirable ukiwepo uzuri wowote upitao haya uweke chini kwa shelf anza na haya kwanza kama kuna uzuri wowote utakaopita haya pakiweko chochote kinachostahili kutifiwa tafakarini mambo haya kwanza haleluya si unaona kanisa linaweza kuwa na ugonjwa likitafakari mambo yasiyo ya kweli mambo yasiyo na sifa njema kutafakari mambo yasiyo ya haki mambo yasiyo masafi mambo yasiyo ya kupendeza mambo yasiyo ya staha hiyo ndiyo kipindi hiyo ndiyo maneno hiyo ndiyo ushirika Mungu atusaidie sana. Amen. Na kanisa lijapokuwa hivyo haliwezi likaendelea. Whatever is pure, morally clean, spotless, sinless, chaste and undefiled, free from moral pollution free from filth and dirt and 
impurities. Think about these things. Sasa unaona mahali unaletwa na wokovu. Paradigm shift. Kuachana na upusi wa kiulimwengu na fikra za upotovu china la Bwana analichukuzwe. Amen. Jambo la tano waka, wakaambiwa whatever is lovely. Prosphile, prosphile, prosphile. You know, phileo, phileo is the Greek for love. So, whatever is lovely, that is, whatever is pleasing, whatever is wisdom, whatever is kind, whatever is gracious, things that excite love and kindness, think about these things. Whatever is pleasing, whatever is whatever is kind, whatever is gracious, things that excite love and kindness, think about these things. This is the highest level of counseling, our minds. The believer's thoughts are to be thoughts, are not to be thoughts of kindness, and kindness and meanness. Our thoughts should not be thoughts of unkindness and meanness, grumbling and murmuring, criticism and reaction. You may find yourself, you are saved, but you are unkind. You grumble, you murmur, you criticize. When we become believers, we stop. That kind of a criticizing spirit. Nilipigia mtu moja simu jana. Haka niambia. Leune hedo hato nilika radhuza hame haka iko mi. Damu ila nekeo itako hura gira adhi moto dolole miru wakutirueha. Nina mpigia simu mtu ni muambie. Hape ni uya ananiba. Sala ni ome ni kumuka after 10 years. Look at that. And then I had an opportunity now to tell that person how his mind is light-minded. May God help us. I, I had an opportunity now to preach to that person. Look at this. Wapendwa. The believer's thoughts are to be focused upon things that are lovely, that build people up, not tear them down. Focus on things that are lovely. Focus on things that build people up. Focus on things that do not tear people down. Don't talk over things that can tear people down. Build them up. Hallelujah. Nilifika asubui sana hapa na nikakutana na mtu moja staki kusema. Alikuwa na ena shule kumuona mtoto waka kwa sababu ya shida, shida fulani. Na simu kwa saaji ni mtu wanapesa zaki. Lakini ya kanambia, wewe ni nakujua. Nisaidie ji, juu ya mtoto wangu. Haka nieleza mambo. Nika mwambia, perfect the relationship. Usienda shule kama mwalimu mungine, komi ya ea taki ni yosat. Perfect the relationship. Hata kama atakuwa mevuta bangi. Kwa shule wanambia kwa abute bangi kwa hawe werevu. Perfect the relationship. Usione kama ni upuzi kukunyo bangi. Ali, wanavutaka bangi wakiambio na wengine. Bangi nafanyaka mtu wae na akiri. Zahidi za kufanya mtihani. So perfect the relationship. Wakaniambia. Ni mungu wa melitu makoko. Nilikuwa ni mekasirika sana. Nilikuwa na sikia ni tafika saa kapi huko. Ni muraruwe bere wa tatawala wengine. Kama mia bana. Perfect the relationship. Mwana sikuwa sana. Amen. Think about those beings that are loved. To Malaysia to say maybe, whatever is admirable, eu fema, or you can pronounce eu fema, e u p h e m a, eu fema, reputable, high 
stoned. Were they thinking things of the highest quality? If there are things to think about, think about reputable things, high-toned things. Were they things, things of the highest quality? The believer is to think only upon what he thinks. The believer is not to fill his mind with junk. He has not to listen to bad reports. Why do you switch on your TV like the Holy Spirit doesn't sp speak to you? Looking for junks and bad reports. Hello, someone. You fill your mind with the junks. Report is in Gilem Naskia for media. 90% is demonic. Niza kukuharibu well. When you have the Bible to read the good news of the kingdom of God. Amen. Fill your mind with the right things. Fill your mind with the right things. Jaza fikila zako na mambo yale ya muhimu sana. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Amen. No matter how juicy the reports might be, just think about the right things. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. So, if anything excellent or praiseworthy in any thought, think about such things. And this is what we call positive thinking. It's the answer to peace for the Christian believer. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The answer to peace for the Christian believer is positive thinking. Unapomuona huyu kijana. Unamfikiriaji. Unapomuona baba yake. Unapomuona dada yake. Mama yake. Nduguze. Nani. Mama yule. Unapomuona dada yule. Unamfikiriaji. Itategemea. Wewe umejua mungu kiasi gani. Verse number nine. Wapendo ni malizie. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse number nine. Ina malizia vizuri sana. The source of power. The source or power for the Christian believer. Inasema and whatever you have learned or received or heard from me, this is Paul, or seen in me, these are the instructions. Inasema, put them into practice. What have you heard? What, what have you learned? What have you seen? What can you put into practice? And when you do that, the Bible says, and, that is after you have done. Hallelujah. Amen. And the God of peace. Tusome kwa kiswaini. Hallelujah. Kitaka mungu wa mani, kwa sababu kuna miungu mingine. Inasema hivi? Wa Filipi ine na msaru wako watisa. Inasema hivi kwa Kiswahili Mambo yote mulio ya funza mulio jifunza au kuyapokea au kuyasikia kutoka kwangu huyu ni Paulo au kuyaona kwangu yatendeni hayo na mkitenda na Mungu wa amani atakuwa pamoja nani Kwa hivyo unaweza kuwa kanisani lakini hauna Mungu wa amani. 
wewe ni mchongezi wewe ni mtu wa kuchochea chochea wengine kwa sababu mambo yale unayofunzwa mambo yale unapokea na kuyasikia wewe hauwezi kuyatenda kama vile tunaweza kusema simameni tuombe wewe unakaa chini njooni tuombe ukikosa kutii umekosa amani na hutapata amani kokote uendako paka utakapotii hebu tusome pale wapendo ndipoza unaweza kuwa hapa lakini hauna baraka kwa sababu hapa kuna mambo ya kujifundisha ya kuyasikia kuyaona na unaambia unaambiwa yatende haleluya ili ili iwe nini ndio Mungu wa amani awe na wewe unaweza kumaliza kukaa hapa miaka nenda miaka rudi lakini hauna amani Haleluya. Amen. Hebu tusome. Mambo yote mliyojifunza au kupokea na kuyasikia. Kutoka kwa Mungu. Anasema yeye kwa sababu he was a doctor, a professor of the right doctrine. Si kutoka kwa yeyote, kwake yeye Paulo. He was a professor of the right doctrine, the orthodoxy and the orthodox the right belief and the right practice anasema au kuyaona kwangu yatendeni haya naye Mungu wa amani nataka usimame ufikirie eneo kwa kona ngai wala je unakuwa na Mungu wa amani kasoro ni yako tu ni mambo yale unasikiaga na kujifunza unakataa kuyafuata naye Mungu wa amani anakuondokea. Hai. Praise be to God. Amen. Mungu wa amani atakuwa pamoja nasi. So apendwa, it is in the word of God that a person finds the things that are to fill his mind. It is in the word of God. His thoughts are to be upon the teachings of the word of god our thoughts our thoughts are to be upon the teachings of god's word fikra zetu zikae katika mafundisho ya neno la mungu turudi kwa devotion john 15 verse verse number 4 kuna kitu nataka uangalie pale verse number 3 Inasema hivi uone jinsi neno la Mungu lilivyo la maana Ninyi mmekwisha kuwa safi kwa sababu ya lile neno nililowaambia Ninyi mmekwisha kuwa safi kwa sababu ya ile neno nililo nena nanyi Amen neno linakufanya safi neno ndilo linakusafisha kama jinsi matawi yanakatakatwa yale mabaya ili mtu yule uwe msafi ndio yale mabawa, mabaya ya kikatakatwa yanaachiliwa yakauke ili yachomwe ndivyo neno linatoa mambo mabaya ndani yetu linatusafisha na kwani wewe una uchafu kiasi gani ya kwamba unaweza kuweko lakini neno haliwezi kukusafisha miaka ile yote tumekuwa pamoja unaona neno halikufanyii lolote wewe si msafi. Na huyu ndugu wetu Yohana akasema, "Ninyi mumekwisha kuwa safi kwa sababu ya ile neno nililowaambia. Nile lile neno nililonena nanyi. 
tunawanenea kuwasafisha kama sabuni katika roho zetu amen jina la bwana na lisifiwe kwa hivyo usiposikia hilo neno usipoji usipojifunza kwa neno usipofuata neno we utakaa mtu asiye msafi kamwe maishani mwako utasafishwa na neno jina la bwana na lisifiwe ndio naona watu ni goi goi hawaamuki hawezi kuburudika kwa sababu wanakataa neno lile lingewasafisha jina la bwana na lisifiwe sitaka tumalize wakati simameni tuone Mungu awabariki sana kwa kunisikiza na wale wote wanaotufuata kutoka mbali Mungu awabariki sana ninawapenda uh, you like our page tell us where you are listening from tell us your name and your comments we shall be very happy uh, because of any improvement for this kingdom matters christocentric views god bless you so much Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Amen.